first ever 360 high filmed oh, high, yeah. Yeah, high table 360 film. This is very experimental. This is, yeah. We're going to do a bunch of avant garde this time. We're going to hire uh, Lloyd Kaufman and uh, we're going to bring back Andy Warhol from the dead. The table that? is tilting. Don't, don't, don't expose us. So uh, no, we expose bought, us on stream. We bought a better in front table. Of thousands of people live. We bought a better table. So it looks the same, but it's better. Yeah, it's better. <laughs> it's higher. So, first and foremost, um, what do you guys want to bring to the table? This, I only this higher have, table. I only have Civil War to bring to the table. You can do that first if you want. Is that, is, that, that is the most first and foremost thing? So that that trailer came out. You like guys can do hours ago. Things. That trailer came out literally like three hours yeah. ago. Yeah. Was, so we I was in the middle of class, and I was and I, and you know, as a good student, I was not paying attention, and on Twitter I saw Civil War trailer, and I was like, alright, I'm gonna send this to everyone. I didn't get to watch it, I was just like, people need to know. People need to know. And I just watched that. And it looks pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, it's probably I'm pretty favorite, excited. Probably my favorite trailer so far uh, for this movie. Yeah, for sure. It's I mean, like, it reveals the most. It's definitely the one that's like, okay, get right for the movie. It's yeah, awesome. I mean... It's in two months. The yep. Yeah, it's May. I the, Last night I was like looking up Thanks. when... When movies like come out, it's right at the beginning of May. Yeah. It's like May sixth. Yeah, sixth. Mm -hmm. No, X Men is later in that month. Maybe that's what you're thinking of. Maybe, but yeah, there's, there's that. I mean, the biggest thing in the trailer isn't even like, oh, the movie looks cool. It's just, hey, here's Spider Man. Spider -Man's like, like yeah, Spider Man's there. I guess. No, that's are like. You not, are you not a big Spider Man fan? That was like the not stinger. Of the I had not been waiting for Spider Man as much okay. as everyone else. Okay. Did. Just because I think they've ruined him in the cinematic. Well, because they've had to try. Not this is the third agree. time. Yeah. 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 No, I get. I get you. I mean, that's it's the only reason. I think yeah. Like. None of the Spider-Man movies are good. None of them. You don't think Spider-Man Two was good with Doc Ock? That movie's awesome. It's okay, but like, I love that movie. Like, there's map. five of there's five of them. Yeah. And it's like none of them are like, oh, but that one's good, man. It's like they couldn't I even complete. I I probably Spider like Spider-Man way more than you. Like Spider-Man is like probably my favorite. Oh okay, Spider yeah, so. no, I get you. Spider-Man, Batman. Fine. I like so. like in my mind it goes like like best Spider-Man movie, uh, Spider-Man three. That one was the funniest okay. fucking movie. Good one. No, oh man, Good I, one. that movie's just I don't even like I don't enjoy the movie obviously, uh, but just for the pure like, I do, I do. Just for the hilarity of like James Franco really eating like eating a the pie and it's like how's the pie and he's just like. Got this shit eating grin on. He's like so good. It's like th that movie's ridiculous. Uh, uh, Spider Man Two is good. Um, Spider Man One is like kind of weird now. Looking back on it, I guess. Amazing Spider Man One I thought was okay. Amazing Spider Man Two was not good. I like both of them. Okay. Oh. I, 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 I tend is, to be an outlier. But they could no, even complete the trilogy. No, I gotcha. Yeah, I well, I really liked Andrew Garfield as Spider Man, but I know like, Me too. A, I like Sony hated him. I preferred him. really Sony hated him. I liked him. So. I liked him a lot. I, um, I think you can see now, because because Toby was fine, except that he was never funny, and Spider Man's always joking and yeah. stuff, and he like never made jokes. Yeah. Even that's like, why, because Andrew Garfield can nail the sarcastic. The opening of it. two was like the ultimate version of like, oh, you guys understand Spider Man, because he was yeah. like busting like the Paul Giamatti robbery, and he was like, no, no, like, no, like, yeah, he throws a bag of money, he says, here's your change, yeah, like, just he like a whole did Spider Man, I was like, yeah. cool, and then never again. Um, yeah. So I was like, oh man. Actually, when I walked out. Except when he's dancing down the street. That was good, right? Remember when Peter Parker was dancing oh, on the was street? He was his, trying to the, find his whole. <laughs> yeah, I'm sarcastic. The yeah. worst thing ever. I, um, when I walked out of Spider Man 2, actually, I got stopped by a woman who was like, Did you know you look a lot like. It was like this old woman. She was like, You look like that guy. I was like, Thanks. <laughs> she like stopped to tell me that I looked like Andrew Garfield. I was like, Thanks. Cool. That, I like yeah. half of me wanted it's to be like half, half of me wanted to like throw on some British accent and be like, oh, I'm so glad you liked the movie. Like just like pretending like you're yeah. Hidden. Oh yeah. Like you just I think secret, you gone right over. Like it. you yeah. just secretly went to this yeah, random exactly. theater. Like, yeah, I went to I went to the Palisades Mall for no reason. <laughs> this, was it? I don't know. Yeah, um, uh, yeah. No. Um. I like I like Spider Man. I do. I yeah. think Spider Man's a cool character. Yeah. I like his. I like his his deal, his shtick mm -hmm. of like I'm the, he was like the kid. He was like the he's first a kid, like because he's literally a kid. Yeah, That's he was like the first like kid superhero. Mm -hmm. But friend of mine at home, big into Spider-Man, loves him. Mm -hmm. He brought up a good point, which is in Civil War, Spider-Man has a moment where 
gosh. It was... This is kind of a spoiler. I don't know. Uh, was it in the trailer? No. We can't No, it's the it. comics. Thing. It's the comics. Oh, you're talking okay. about the, oh, you're talking about the Civil you're War talking about the comics? I don't care. Okay. In, I mean, in the comics... You should read the comics before... It came out like 10 years ago. Yes. Yeah. In the comics, there's a big moment where Spider-Man reveals who he is. Right. Mm -hmm. He's like, I'm Peter Parker, yeah, yeah. and I've been Peter Parker since I was... I mean, I'm, I've been Spider-Man since I was 15. Mm -hmm. But the big thing about that is that it's not... 18 year old Spider-Man being like, I'm Peter Parker, and everyone's he's like, like alright, whatever. whatever. Yeah, it's like 45 year old Spider-Man yeah. being like, I've been Spider-Man for like 30 years now, and like, it's a big deal, and like, J. Jonah Jameson, I think, has like, a literal heart attack when yeah, that happens. Yeah. yeah, so like, you're not gonna get that, which is kind of a shame. Yeah, he plays a huge role in the comics. Yeah, he is very central to Civil War. Um, His like, flip-flopping, I think, is kind of a big deal. Yeah. Which I think will probably happen. Don't, he's, he's gonna do that. No, no, in this, he's definitely gonna be more of a side character. Like, I think he'll probably flip he, He's going to be featured, like, enough. He's yeah. not going to be, like, a nothing thing, but he's not going to be a main focus character. Yeah, no, I mean, no, I don't think they're going to go into the whole flip-flopping, of course. Maybe. Like, it looks like he starts on Iron Man's side, so... That's what I In the trailer, he's yeah. on Iron Man's side, definitely, yeah. but who knows how that is. So ends. maybe he'll just, like, maybe it'll be like, no, come with me, I'm all about America, and then he'll be like, ah... Well, because he's just a kid, he is, and now he's yeah. like, yeah, I'm yeah, that's a, like, he's he also a genius, a though. It's like, oh, that guy can fly around and see, that's cool. Yeah. No, I think the funniest thing, I mean, I just watched the trailer and I was telling Nick, I thought the funniest thing was just his little, like, hey, everybody. He's just, he just sounds like he's oh, like, yeah, he's he just sounds, sounds, sounds like sounds he's so a kid. tiny. He sounds young, yeah. so young. He's yeah. just, like, he just stole the shield made of the most precious substance in the world. He's just yeah. like, hey, guys. Yeah. What's up? Yeah. You guys. I think. I like the fact that I know their whole, the whole backstory they're doing for him now. He's going to be like actually like a freshman in high school when they start his new origin story. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but so I think the person they cast. But they're is not good. actually doing the actual origin of like him getting bit by this. Yeah, no, 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 I think no, they're, they're doing skipping because like everyone fucking knows we it know, by we now. Know, we know. I think um, what's really interesting that they're doing is you have to you have to think because all of these superheroes that he's like joining up with are now so established right. in their universe, and like, yeah. Daredevil and Jessica Jones have clued us into that, like, the world has seen these superheroes mm -hmm. now. So to Spider-Man, this is almost like joining, like, a celebrity crew, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, he's like, I'm like them too, but they're like the big, they're the big leagues. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I think that could be interesting, like, yeah. him being like, you guys are the guys from New York, I'm the kid from New York. Mm -hmm. Like, just like, stuff mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. And, like, maybe have, like, some random scene where, like, it flashes back to, like, Avengers 1, and, like, shit's going down, and Spider-Man's just like, oh, room. fuck, like, yeah, just, like, webbing around. Yeah, like. the only thing I want to know, like, I don't want to obviously see the origin story again. I'm just curious as, like, the time frame of, like, when he becomes, God, no. when he became Spider-Man in relation to all this Avengers stuff. Totally true. Yeah. I just want to know what the timeline is, because that's just, yeah. that's, that's just that's intriguing that's true. That's so intriguing it could be, me. it could be pre this is gonna have Avengers to be 1? pre-Avengers 1, for sure. It could be. I mean, he's still young. Yeah. Time has passed since Avengers 1, like, yeah. right it, years. It's kind of like, not like real time, but it's like almost Yeah, it's real like time. years have passed since yeah. Avengers No, I'm saying his story has to be like pre-Avengers 1. When oh, like do, him getting bit? When they do his high school years, that has to be pre-Avengers 1, I think. Maybe. I don't know. I don't Unless know. they're going to make him a 15-year-old kid. It's like Unless it could be like right he after. Sounds, he sounds could be like right after he's Avengers 19, 1. The actual actor's like 19. Okay, Tobey Maguire was 30. I feel That's my like... my point. Like, he's actually a young kid. He's gonna... No, but that, what I'm saying is Tobey Maguire was 30 and was also acting like a young kid. <laughs> no, but this kid... Have you seen this kid? I have... Yeah, yeah Holland yeah. or whatever. Tom Holland. Yeah, Tom Holland. He literally looks like he yeah. is... I, I get that, but what I'm... Yeah, but what I'm saying is, like, he can still just be, like, 15. I think it's supposed to be like, yeah, he's 15 or whatever. I think... I don't know. I think, um... Maybe I feel like he, he became Spider Man like somewhere during Phase Two, like right after Avengers One. Sure. That's because right. I'm trying to like justify in my head because he he's he would, has been Spider Man for some time, but he can't have been that long. Yeah, no, they, they it would be like, hard for him to, to be, like sweep like, away like exactly. So if he was Spider Man during Avengers One, he's been Spider Man for like six years, help. but nobody yeah. knew about it. It's can't yeah. it would be weird. Yeah. That's so why I think I think it's it has like post Avengers One. You said pre. Though. You, you've been saying pre this whole time. Yeah. 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 I still mean pre. Sticking with my story. Okay. Whatever. I think it's like probably right after Avengers. Anyway, like that. whichever. I mean, Spider Man looks cool. Yeah. Nick and I both agree. We think the coolest fucking thing in the movie is gonna be Black Panther. He looks so cool. Yeah, that's awesome. His suit. I'm, just excited like to, I'm always excited to see new characters. Yeah, he just oh, looks like, like a sick Power Ranger. He's a, like, yeah, he's just, just got like a Sentai like outfit. The mask and like the, is so good. He looks so good. He yeah, looks great. He looks like a better Captain. I'm excited Marvel. to see him and Tony Stark. Because they're on the same side, right? Yes, yes, they are. So the teams are... Because they're both rich billionaires. 
Basically, yeah. The, so the teams are Iron Man, Black Panther, War Machine. Uh, oh, that was the saddest thing in the trailer. Scarlet Witch is on his side, or is Scarlet Witch? Uh, no, Scarlet is the cat. No, Vision is on his side. Back here, just put the line up and, and we'll okay, scope yeah. like idiots. Yeah, Scarlet uh, Vis Vision is on Iron Man's team. Okay, cool. Vision, yeah. Scarlet, 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 Scarlet. That's a fucking, that's a team right there. Is that's Ant-Man on this team too? Oh, yeah. Ant-Man's on the team with, with Hawkeye. Hawkeye. So, so I think that's Cap's team. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But that's a fucking, yeah, Iron I'll, Man's I'll, team I'll is find, like... I'll find the lineup pictures and I'll put them up. Yeah, yeah, Iron Man's team though, if it's literally him... Stacked. Like, and Vision... Stacked. And... Like, like, that's, a, and that's a fucking strong group. Yeah, because who's Cap right? He's got Falcon, he's got Winter Soldier. He's got like... People, you know what I mean? Like he's got like dudes who are like strong and stuff, but like if Iron Man's got Vision, Vision's a fucking like demigod. Yeah. No one has Thor. Thor's not in this, right? No. no. Yeah, he's doing racking. Thor is like, I'm too busy yeah. in Valhalla. I don't care about your shit. He's just flying around. Yeah. He doesn't care. Yeah. He's like, I'm gonna go fuck Natalie Portman. <laughs> Probably. I mean, why not? So yeah, Civil War looks very exciting. Yeah. I'm very, I am very excited. Speaking of. uh being excited, I'm pretty excited for 10 Cloverfield Lane that comes out in like two days. Mm. And I kind of, and I really want to see that actually. Tomorrow, tomorrow, yeah. <laughs> Today's Thursday. Yeah, yeah. yeah I like that movie. Looks cool. I'm very, I'm, I'm just interested in like the mystery of that movie, like what the fuck it's gonna be. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. Cause I, I, got nothing. I never saw the first Cloverfield. But it I'm looks like they're just trapped. What? It looks like they're trapped and something's trying to get in. They're in a bunker. Yeah, so, yeah, but like the question from, is from like, trailer, is John Goodman out of his mind, and there's nothing, yeah. or like, because like it seems uh, like in the trailer the I girl, the girl is that. the girl is trying to leave the bunker. He's yeah. like, no, yeah. So we but don't. But there's know something out there. There's probably. something out probably. there. I think probably. J.J. Abram, know, J. J. Abrams has that. said that like there is a monster in this. Movie. I did you hear how? But fucking, it's different from Club the first color. Did you hear how fucking secret he was about this? He was so secret that Mary Elizabeth Winstead literally didn't know what movie she acted in. Yeah, because I think they changed it like during the production. Yeah. They changed it to be She the didn't know it was a Cloverfield movie until an hour before the trailer came out. Her agent called her and was like, hey, that was a Cloverfield movie. And she was like, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Like, Jesus, J.J. Abrams, playing a little close to the yeah, chest, yeah, aren't we? Yeah, he's doing a lot of I mean, he can now because now he's like, what are you going to do? I'm the Star Wars guy. You can't I'm tell J. me. J.J. motherfucking yeah, Abrams. Yeah, I'm, I'm the Star Wars guy now. You he's can't tell the me new no. guy that everyone wants to direct this shit. I mean, yeah, he's a good director. Yeah, I'm not saying he's bad. I'm just saying yeah. he's like the new he's young. Cool. He's got cool ideas. He's right. a he's a good blockbuster director. Honestly, I think he's a good. Uh, I mean, I liked Lost. I never finished it, but that was like his like love a lot child. Of people liked it. I I watched it like the first three seasons, and then what happened was I missed two episodes, uh -huh. and that was just it. I was like, oh god. Yeah. Oh. And this was like pre like Hulu and stuff, uh -huh. so I couldn't yeah, just like <laughs> look online and like yeah. try to find something easy. Yeah. I was basically just like, yeah, you had to. You used to have to keep up with your yeah, TV no, shows. Yeah, no, it was like you used to have to, like TiVo or some bullshit. Like oh, yeah, DVR it. That's it. When I DVR. missed when you missed. Two episodes the internet of had Lost. Nothing. Yeah, when you Done. when you missed two Done. episodes of Lost. Wait for that DVD set. Bye. That literally kicked me yeah. out. Of, that literally right. kicked me out of the series. Like I kept up with it like every episode for like three yeah. seasons, and then I missed like two episodes, and it was just like, well, that was fun. Yeah. Because like, if you miss one episode, they'll play it the before, like the next week before the new episode. Yeah. So it's too. okay to catch up. But two episodes, you're never gonna find. Yeah. I, it yeah. I think I like where you just. I think I like went on vacation or something, and it was just like, well. Uh, that's the end of that show for me. <laughs> I, was, I, I like the show, but um, yeah. that's okay. There's so many shows that have made it for me like that. Like I missed two or three episodes, and I'm just like, it's done. Yeah, peace. Stop. Thanks for the, yeah. Thanks for the incomplete story. Bye. <laughs> um, yeah. What also came out today, which uh, I was very excited about, was new information on Street Fighter V character Alex. He is the first DLC character. Mm -hmm. We still don't know when. It's not a trailer. It was just screenshots. Right, right. I saw. Which looks really cool. He looks. I like his new design. He kind of has like slightly. Like it's got, not super different, but it's a little. Yeah, different. no. I mean, they weren't gonna fucking like revolutionize it. He just suspenders, green pants, looks like flannel shirt tied around his waist, shorter hair. He looks fine. He looks great. Yeah, yeah he looks like a good man. And Is it shorter? I can't even tell. What? I can't even tell his hair is shorter. Yeah, no. He used to have like flow. Okay. He used to have like long hair because like he would it take, looks like to me it's just like that part that has, detail is like I didn't know he has like spiky hair now and like yeah. two little weird bang things. Uh, I know like, in third track it's definitely long, but yeah, I just didn't no, 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 he just it's has kind of like, like a mulletish almost. 
In Third Strike? No, not really. No, though this one. Oh, no, he doesn't have, like, anything in the back. It just goes to, like, here? It just oh. kind of, like, stops. Oh, okay. It's, like, headband. I'll have to look at it like, more nothing. closely. Yeah, it's more more closely. Yeah, and he, but then he also still just... But like, he's got the long, like, bang yeah, things. Yeah, fringes. Yeah, so yeah. He looks cool. Uh, I'm a little disappointed there's still no, like, hard date on when he's coming yeah, out. Yeah, it's March 10th, and, like, the promise is, like, They're this holding is out as long as possible. Yeah, it's like, this is, hey, this update's coming out in March. It's like, at this point, it's like, you might as well just say March 31st yeah. or 30th. I don't know which one this month is. No, with. 31st. 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 Okay, yeah. Either way. Uh, um, I think, um, I don't know, I think they want to keep people more excited, keep people playing despite the issues at launch. I think I would agree with you if it wasn't for the fact that this patch coming with Alex also fixes, fixes a lot of stuff. stuff. So it's like, why, why make us wait for something you should be doing uh, right now? Yeah, well, They're like, hey, we know Battle Lounges still don't work. Well, it's probably not ready, first of all. Like, it's probably yeah. actually not ready. Alex? No. Well, I mean just Alex, but like the, the patch patches. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know what you mean. Uh, um, so, so it could be the a, other way. Maybe they're just holding back Alex until the patch maybe, is ready. You know, maybe. We don't know. I'm really hoping he's like soon though. I, I really want to like I mean, it's get only t like two to three more. Yeah, weeks. two to three. That weeks possibly could max. be. Otherwise, that'd be like maybe they'll like drop him and then they'll be like, all right, next month is. I think next month is gonna be Guile. I thought it was Battle Rock, but I don't know. I think the way the lineup went it was Alex, Guile, Balrog, Ibuki, Jury. Urian. Oh man, so far away. Urian is like September. Oh man. If that's the way that they're gonna go. I just wanna know, just show me some concept art, please. I just wanna know what, no, what you, ideas yeah. you guys have you don't, for what he looks like. Literally the way they're working is like you don't get concept art until like until a couple the, weeks before. Until three months after the characters out here concept art. So <laughs> it's if that's the way it's gonna go, yeah. that's okay with me. Like I I'm really just so curious. I'm like Jury and Ibuki are like the two where I'm like, no, give me them now. Yeah. Guile and Balrog are like whatever. Like yeah. I never played as them that much. Yeah. I like I like Guile, Balrog's whatever. He looks like he's got a cool look though. I'm like the opposite. I don't really. Guile's like whatever. Yeah, I don't really care about it. Oh but no, like no Balrog. Balrog's like. Did you see he's got like a hood up and everything in like the story I, mode? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh, he looks yeah, cool. That's if that's what he's gonna. Look. And um, yeah. did you see what Guile looks like? No. He looks like the like same. a mall cop. He's what? got like a blue like <laughs> like aviators on and like rolled up sleeves. Oh, it's and, like a blue button down shirt. Yeah, oh, with like a tie cool. and big cool. sun. He looks like a mall cop or like a like an air. I like actually air like pilot. that a lot. I like that. I movie. hope that's what he's actually gonna look like. I it, hope so. And uh, that'll make it more interesting. Than yeah, just, like the same green tank top, camo I mean, pants. I <laughs> I, I think you, I think you like, saw Sakura's in story mode and she's still fucking wearing her school outfit. Yeah, that was like a punch to the gut. I was so upset. Considering this is like, it's like Sakura, you are 27. Please stop, stop wearing, wearing that. that. Please stop wearing stop. your fucking outfit. Stop. Yeah, are you really that well, dumb? I mean, that's really what everyone wants. No, but like, it's so boring now. It's been like 20 years. It's boring years. also doesn't make sense. No, like, okay, you're so. Still here's in the high deal. school? Are you that so dumb? So in, in Street Fighter, in Street Fighter, <laughs> right. these games came out called Street Fighter Alpha, which okay. takes place before the first game. Oh my god. And these came out in like the 90s, and yeah. the character was introduced named Sakura, who was a schoolgirl and wore her school outfit. Now those games took place before Street Fighter Red 1, and Sakura's in her school outfit. We're now at a game that takes place like seven games Way later. later. Uh, and it's like the second to last. So she's time. like, so like canonically, she should be like 30. Yeah, she's she like, probably in the late 20s at least. Like, yeah, like possibly like 30, like or so, she's still wearing a fucking school outfit. It's like, she's hey... Dumb. It doesn't gotcha. make any sense. It doesn't yeah. make any sense. It's like Kyo in King of Fighters. It's like, hey, dude, like... Well, he changed, actually. He, he got different outfits. Yeah, but why, why does it matter? No, Kyo was wearing his school outfit, and they, like, always... Like, in-game in dialogue, they're always like, dude, didn't you... Are you I a little old I've, to be wearing I that? Play, I haven't played, like, the first few KOF games. Oh, no, I've like, it, it wasn't, like, the first few. It was, like, 2002-ish. They were, like... Like, dialogue would be like, Hey man, you're now like, he has like the jacket. That's like no, he's got a cool jacket. outfit. Yeah, now, so yeah. that's why I know his current now. No, but when he was like getting on in the years, and he was still wearing the school outfit, all the other characters were like, like the dude, the, you're like like the jumpsuit looking yeah, Japanese. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're yeah. like, dude, you're like 26. You sure you still gonna be wearing that? <laughs> yeah, like it fits me still. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I don't think he graduated. I think they were just like, I don't know, he left school. Now he's got a cool jacket. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. Oh, I beat Lisa. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah. It was cool. Um. There's a DLC that's like five bucks. I didn't buy it because apparently it got like eh, reviews and apparently it's like super short. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, eh, I'll, I'll wait for some. I'm sure there'll be some dumb Steam sale where it's like 
a dollar, and then I'll get yeah, it. Yeah, that happens mm. a lot. Um, game itself was really fun. It it was like, it was ten bucks for like a ten hour game. So like whatever. Nice. It was cool. Right. I didn't do everything though. Like there was a lot of stuff I know I can like go back and do and like okay. get all the party members because there's thirty. Are you there like multiple endings or anything like that? Yeah. That so uh, you can either have, you can either play on normal mode or or a harder mode called pain mode. If you play on normal mode, there's a drug in the game called joy, and oh. your character is addicted to it. Very on the nose. <laughs> there's a drug called joy. Yeah, no. There's a, so the, this is so, what you'll feel when you. So the, your character is addicted to it, and multiple party members you get in the game can be addicted to this. Mm. And is what, it a status effect? Though? No, it's really cool. Yeah, it is. So when they're addicted to it, uh, sometimes they'll grant like after a set number of random encounters or like time, they'll have a status ailment of withdrawal, mm -hmm. which means they'll do oh. a lot less damage. Oh man, that's cool. And they actually have less health and defense overall, oh, so they just wow. like suck. And if they take joy, they crit every single hit, and like every attack does like half as much damage. But you get like not a lot in the whole game. So sometimes you just have to like be wow. like, dude, please get over your drug addiction. I need you to like. Can no. they get out of withdrawal? It takes a long time. That makes that's actually really cool. There's a lot of so like you'll pick up characters and you'll be like, this guy's awesome. And then it'll just be like, by the way, he's addicted to joy. Like, oh. <laughs> I have six pellets left, and like I don't have enough for everybody. Not, and so, you get two endings based on how you deal with joy. If you give characters joy, you get the joyful ending. Which, contrary to its name, is actually, I think, the worst ending. <laughs> if, if, you, like if you completely don't take any joy, because it's, like, it's like bad. Because in the game, the people who take joy, over time, they literally become like cannibals and like mutants and stuff. Because it's, like, <laughs> yeah, it's like this like crazy like super soldier drug, basically. Oh so if you if you don't take any joy, you get the joyless ending, which I think is a little better. I don't know if it's any happier by much, but because it's not like <laughs> so basically like, they just suck the ending. No, yeah, neither one. There's no like good ending. Like it ends. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how much you care about spoilers, but it ends bad for basically like yeah. most characters involved. Mm -hmm. That's always a good time. Yeah. So it was fun. The, yeah, the status ailments in the game were like some of the coolest stuff because you would have like, but it would just be so funny because like anytime like a character becomes in withdrawal, your screen would just like flash red, and then you would hear like a groan, and it's just like, ugh, gotta deal with this shit. Cause, yeah. yeah. And if you give the character joy, he's a fucking, they're tanks, cause every every hit is like a crit, and like they they take no damage and shit. Super soldiers. Yeah, it's a really, you don't get a lot though, so that's the coolest part. Yeah, it was a, it was a lot of fun. I would definitely like recommend it, but I don't know if I'm gonna pick up the DLC anytime soon. Catch it. Yeah, and in terms of games now, I'm just kind of like playing Street Fighter every once in a while. That's really it. Yeah, there's not, not much not else much like till like what April. Um, yeah, that's Dark Souls Three is April 11th. Yeah. And then nothing else in March. Nothing. I mean, the Division came out, but I I'm not really paying attention. I'm actually I played the open beta of that like was a couple that? weeks ago. Actually, surprisingly, really cool. I'm uh, definitely like because that was a game I've been interested in for a while, and I kept showing trailers and stuff, but I. Like, they, the date kept getting pushed back, so I was like, this is coming out some nebulous future date, and then I played the beta, and it's like, yeah, it's coming out March 8th, and I was like, oh my god, wait, what? Yeah, no, like, days? Like, really? It's coming out? And, like, things creep up. Like, things have been creeping up on yeah. me. Like, I remember Superman comes out in, like, two weeks. Yeah. Next Friday. No, no 25th. 25th. It's 25th. Two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. Yeah. I thought it was the Friday before we went on spring break. That's the no. 25th. Oh, yeah. that is the 25th. Yeah, right. no, the Friday, the oh, yeah, Friday yeah, of spring Friday. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, like what the fuck? That's two weeks. Uh, in May, there's... Daredevil's next week. Daredevil's next week. What? Yeah. The new season of Daredevil yeah, is this, next we week. We said this like three times before. I'm March so, 18th. I'm sorry, I've been falling down the hole of anime, like, yeah. oh, like hardcore <laughs> these past few yeah, days. Yeah, next Friday, Daredevil. That's why I gotta finish House of Cards before. I gotta finish oh, Marvel the Avengers before that. That was the wrong thing to say. Yeah, wait, what? It was like Marvel Agents of Shield. Oh, I, okay. hard I was gonna say, you know, that movie's two hours. You yeah, can bang, no, it's not. you can bang it out real quick. You can do that like right now. <laughs> right like, in one Marvel's sitting. Peggy Carter and Agents of Shield before that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Peggy Carter. I watched Agent Carter. Yeah, I do. Oh, her name's Peggy. Okay, her first yeah, name's yeah. Peggy. I, I just heard, I just know it as Agent Carter. Yeah. Agent Carter. Um, but, yeah, no, I, I. Uh, no, I, I've been super falling down the uh, anime hole. The anime hole, because I've been like keeping up with like a couple shows this season, but now that like some of them are like everything's at like episode nine or ten ish, so they're like starting to come to their close. I've been like, uh, been like, you know what? Let's 
let's do, let's make the rounds and see like what people were saying were like worth it, just to kind of like grab some more. And um, some of them are good. The best one, the the best one is this one called Erased or Boku Dakiga. I've heard about this. Boku Dakiga Inai Machi, much longer name. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I never got like you, when the yeah. when the show starts, it has like all these characters, and it says Boku Dakiga Inai Machi. And then, like, the subtitle just says erased. It's like, nah, that doesn't equal that. And it doesn't. I think it technically translates to, like, the town in which I no longer exist or something like that. But erased, I guess, just sounds <laughs> easier. Um, really cool. So what it's about is this guy, 29, kind of a loser, just delivers pizzas. Uh, but he has this... Don't make fun of my life. <laughs> typical opening. Yeah, he's, he, he's like, yeah, he's like, typical, like, oh, I'm a loser. But, <laughs> Less than extraordinary person. Yeah, but he had, he's like he's an aspiring manga artist, and then he, but he has this ability, which is he's like, so, like when something happens, when something bad happens, by him he gets sent back in time a little bit to like fix it, but just like by a few minutes. So like he was like riding his like bike to like go deliver pizza, and then he got sent back in time a little, and he knows that this happens. He calls it like. Uh, something, I can't remember, but deja vu. Yeah, he calls it like remembrance or something like that. And um, he gets sent back and then he gets a chance to like fix it. So like in the beginning he gets sent back because uh, a truck driver was asleep at the wheel and it was going to hit a kid. So he like was sent back and he like fat and he like figured that out and like woke the person up. And then like episode, at the end of episode one, <laughs> his mom gets murdered by someone and he gets sent back to like when he was 10 like, all the way back to him being, like, ten years old, and he's like, what the fuck? And basically... He has to reel his entire life. He has to, no, he has to figure out, like... Because when he grew up, there was, like, a serial killer that, like, I guess killed two of the kids in his class, yeah. and, like, as an adult, he's just like, yeah, how unfortunate that, like, we don't really think we caught the guy, but this dude's about to take the fall for it. So then he gets sent back, and he, like, kind of puts two and two together, and he's like, whoever killed my mom was this serial killer. So he's got to, like, fix it. So he's got a 29-year-old mind in it. Yeah, he's 29, yeah, that's, he, like, and he keeps saying that every once in a while, because, like, he's, like, a 10-year-old kid, and, like, every once in a while he'll, like, do something that's, like, very reminiscent of, like, still being 10 years old, and then in his inner monologue, he's like, what the fuck, I'm 29, like, I shouldn't be, yeah, yeah it's really cool, though, it's, a uh, it's, like, a mystery, mystery type Does he just time. get sent back in time, like, he doesn't have control over that, he just gets sent back? It just happens, yeah, no, he doesn't, yeah, he can't, like, he can't, like, What happens if it. he doesn't fix it the first time? I think... He just kind of. Always fix it the first time. Um, I think the explanation is if he doesn't figure it out, then he just kind of like almost keeps getting looped uh, until he can figure it out. But as of right now, he's like a ten-year-old kid, like trying to figure out whatever the fuck. So he's so like he's in the class and he's like, all right, that's the kid who gets murdered. I gotta figure this out. Follow. Him. Yeah. Her. Whatever. Yeah. It's fun. It, well, it's not fun. It's like pretty hardcore, I guess. Entertaining. Yeah, it's really good though. I would definitely recommend it. Um, the other ones I've been watching are just super anime. They're just like fucking too much. Yeah, it's like that's the one that I feel like I could recommend to like you and you who like don't really watch anime, but it's still like a cool story. But like the other ones that I'm watching are like, yeah, we have a school club and we fight phantoms, and here's the girl with huge tits, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the most yeah. I think the most hardcore anime I've ever watched is. That's well, I can, like, watch more hardcore anime, but I just don't, like... See, the thing with anime is there's just too much of it that I can't. Like, I yeah. have to, like... There's so much I have to, anime. Basically, what happens is, like, someone recommends... Like, you just recommend that show. I'll add it to the list. And at some point, I'll be like, okay, now I'm now it's going to anime mode, and I'll just watch. Yeah. Like, I look can't at, just keep up with anime. Look, at, look at my it's list. I have an app on my phone. Look at the... Currently watching... 225. Yeah. Wow. Yep. I, I, I need this. I need this to be able to, like... I the worst for The worst part is they tally I up... I make lists of literally everything. No, they tally... This, shows, this app tallies up how long, like, all the anime that you've watched comes so out to. Uh, and like, it gives it to you in days, so that's the how worst. How many days have you watched? 61. 61 days worth of anime. Oh, my. Two months of my life just... <sighs> Anime. Good thing you don't watch One Piece, it'd be like six years on that God, thing. think about how productive you could be if you didn't watch anime. <laughs> yeah, but like, everyone's like, oh, think about how productive. It's like, well, what if you didn't watch TV or you didn't You're right. No, I'm not saying you personally. I'm saying like the concept of 
you watch 60 days of that, maybe I've watched 30 days of movies, maybe. Oh, I feel like you've probably watched more. Like, movies are long, you know what I mean? True. But, you like, watch. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I got gotcha. you. How much time we waste, we'll figure this out next week. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not get depressing. Oh, yeah, right. Really already no, but yeah, so that's what ah! I... Ah! Damn. That'll look cool in 360. It's not recording anymore. Oh, no! That would've looked fucking awesome. That would've looked really cool in 360. Cool. I didn't think about it. Ah, uh, damn it. Foiled again. Um, wow. Yeah, so anything That's else crazy. on your guys' radar Not for right now? Um, I movies? started playing Final Fantasy Type-0. Oh, how's that? Ooh. It is interesting. Um, I don't know if I'm going to end up finishing the game, but I'm going to play more. The battle system looked cool. It's interesting. So the way it works is you have... You have, like, ammo of, like, stuff or something? Well, like not really. It's like, no, you just have MP. Like right oh right no, right I, right I remember right. what it is now, like spells have like shotgun or like rifle Yeah, there are different like, yeah, so the way it works is... I want to pick that up. Honestly. There are, so the, you play as, okay, so the, Ace. I'm just going to, like, general premise of the story, it's basically Avatar The Last Airbender, there are four nations, one of them goes evil, attacks the other ones, that's basically that's the story. That's a new way to go with that's, that's basically the story. It's super brutal, the opening cutscene, like, people are getting murdered, there's blood. Oh, yeah, I know, they, like... Chocobos are dying. Yeah, no, I remember that. Crazy. For they were fun. like, hey, check this shit nuts. out. Like, it's nuts. murder. Yeah, and then you... get that. It and then, looks, it looks yeah, it's cool. It's like and then you uh, play as, from one of the, um, one of the, like, countries you All play. the numbers? Yeah, yeah, so, like, your, your, each country has, like, a crystal, whatever. The, this crystal gives people magic. Yeah. And you and there's like a school of kids trained to be fucking soldiers or whatever. And you play as class. They're cool. They have a, they have cool outfits. And yeah, you play as class like zero. Actually, yeah, they're like because there are like twelve classes and like the first class is the best one, but no, you're class zero, so you're like you're the elite. Yeah. Uh, and there's your uh the wait what was his name? Your teacher looks like the coolest dude. Yeah, she's pretty he's cool. Got, no, the dude with the oh mask. he's like the leader. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's yeah, cool. I was thinking of a dude. Yeah. No, yeah, no, he, he's got kind of like a Bane mask. He looks like Kakashi, because like he's got like yeah. the white hair and like yeah. the mask. Yeah, he looks cool. Um, so you play as like there are fourteen playable characters in this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And they're all named after cards. So you have like Ace, King, Queen. That's sick. nine. Like no, nine. yeah, number one is like yeah. the fourteenth one zero. Uh, no, no, it goes down to like two, which is like deuce. They're called like deuce cards. tray, yeah, whatever. Uh, and then there's like two new, two new Sice, kids that Sice, I think, is the, the girl with the scythe, right? Yeah, she's sick. She's I think. cool. Yeah. Sice. And then there's like two new people that joined at the beginning that are just named like one is like Rem and Machina. Yeah, Rem, drill swords, and she has like daggers. Yeah. Right? yeah. So Everyone looks cool in that game. Yeah, yeah. So there's 14 playable characters, but the way it works is when you start a mission, you choose okay, structure your reserves. So you order the characters Ooh. in the way that. You order all the you characters the in the deck. way that you basically you're loading the deck of how you want them the to stack. The literal deck of people. Yeah. Literally, yeah. That's and cool. then it's like set your active members. So then you just choose three that you actively play as and switch between. That's cool. Um, and the way it works is just like um, it's real time combat. So you're running around yeah, yeah, fighting no, dudes. Yeah. Uh, you hold like R1 to lock on, and then you have uh, four actions. So the square button is just your regular attack with whatever weapon you have. Each character has a specific weapon that all is very different. It's kind of like Monster Hunter. Each weapon is very different. Okay, I got it's you. like that. Uh, triangle is like a, a spell or an action. Uh, circle is a defensive move, whether it's like cure spell or it's like a sh or it's like a block or something like that. How and many then, how many hours into this are you? Um, how many hours? That's a good question. Maybe around ten ish. Oh, okay, not so you're super like, long. Like a hearty amount of time. Yeah, I'm on chapter three Your or experience. something like that. Yeah, um, no, you're like in the game. Yeah, 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 yeah. and it's it's pretty cool. Like. Um, so you're like running around different levels, and it's very because it used to be a PSP game, so it's very yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you like clear a room and then you go into the next one. So there's a lot of loading screens, but on the PS4, it's like, yeah, no, it's like loading done. I would it's hope like, from PSP to PS4, there's some fucking improvement. So don't worry about the loading times because they're like almost nothing. Yeah, yeah. Um, Plus, I mean, as an added benefit, it comes with the fucking 15 demo. So yeah, yeah, it oh, does. Shit. Yeah. So um, so the way it works is just like you're. The way the fighting is, it's not like it's not like the 15 combat where it's like very action oriented. Mm -hmm. It's more like. You can't just like spam attacks or you're gonna get wrecked. You have to okay. like so you have to like wait for an enemy to attack and like dodge out of the way and then attack and it's very cool. like it's very like back and forth and you have like a there's like a critical type move you can do where if like an enemy misses, they'll get like a red targeting crosshairs on them for like a second. If you hit them, you instantly kill them. Oh sick. And you can do that and for this like bosses it's like awesome. a it's like a yellow crosshair where it's like it does because they have like a multiple health bars, yeah. so it does like, you know. And this it's it's pretty cool. Awesome. And like the way you wanna do it is you wanna have like one like healer support character, one like character with a ranged weapon, and then like a the character that you want to play. Yeah, because if you have all three of like your favorite characters and they all get killed, then you're yeah. like, then you're pulling characters from your reserves that you don't want to play yeah, as. Yeah. And it's like 
Because yeah. there's like a character with like a bow and arrows. It's like I always have them on backup, but I never play as him because it's hard to play as him because yeah. it's like slow yeah, to yeah, shoot an too. arrow. But one of the girls it's like has really cool. one of the girls has like a ivy sword, right? She has like yes, a sword. Yes, uh, that's seven. She has, and she looks like lightning with gray hair instead of pink. Cool. Like her face is exactly like that's lightning. That's fine. Yeah, and she's got the ivy sword. Um, one girl's the got game a looks size. cool. The it's game cool. Just looks sound yeah, cool. Ace, the main character, he's like the leader basically. Ace, he's he has the, cards. He has yeah. magic cards. Yeah. He's Gambit. He's, he's just throwing cards. Yeah. It's sick. Yeah, King has two guns, like Dante Gambit style Gambit shooting guns. What? Who? Gambit. Gambit is getting some. No, I thought that got canceled. They scrapped it. Yeah. Yeah, Gambit's cool script. though. He's cool. I, I would watch that movie. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, so like King has like dual guns, like Dante style, he's like shooting pistols. Queen has got this cool like rapier, like yeah. it's cool. Um and yeah, so that game is really cool. And like the vid like they made that game look really good. Mm -hmm. But from like so you see like you're walking around the school and whatever, and like the background characters, they look like the models are like they are looking because it doesn't matter. Yeah. The main characters' models look they look like PS4 quality models. Like they oh, basically like, made like it looks like if you just looked at that model, you wouldn't know it was from PS4. Like they look well, really, yeah, I mean, really it's good. It's a PS4 game now, yeah. But I'm saying like they, like, they completely redid. Oh, okay. Like yeah, it yeah. doesn't even look like a PSP model that was like gussied up. It looks like a new model yeah. for a PS4. No, game. I've been meaning. I I saw that a while back. It's really I've been cool. To pick it up. Yeah. The only like complaint I have with the gameplay is like the camera's really tight in, and so when you're locked on enemies and you're dodging, it's sometimes it's hard to see what little, is happening. Okay. But other than that, it's really cool, and I definitely like recommend checking it out. I'm hoping. Nice. I'm hoping it's under. It's probably bucks. not that much at this point. Yeah, no, I think it came out a little while ago. So I got it, so when I got it at like Best Buy for like 30 bucks or something. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Great. He's yeah. like, I'm hoping it's under 40. Yeah. yeah I got it for 30 yeah. a while ago. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. And you I'm can like, cool. you can like breed chocobos and like capture them in the wild. And they're basically like, oh, for like running around the overworld faster. Yeah, no, I got That's it. That's basically the point of it. No, movie. yeah, I know. It's cool. The yeah. only thing is that uh, when this game came out in PS uh, for the PSP in Japan, yeah. I was like, Super into it. I'm like, oh, this game's yeah. awesome. Like, I hope it comes out in America. It didn't until now, and uh, I basically had the ending spoiled for me. Uh, it sucks. Uh, yeah. I feel like you had the ending spoiled for everything. I do, which sucks. I do. I have the ending spoiled for oh, like I try my best not to, but it just always happens. Yeah. And the and You're like just connected to too many things. I think the issue is that I get like. I, I like fly too close to the sun. I'm always like, this game looks really cool. I wonder what all the characters look like. And, you... and then I like will just do something like a Google image search, and then I'll just see a picture of like that character dead, and I'm like, all right, well, <laughs> cool. You go too deep sometimes. You know what the you worst is? If you're on if you're on YouTube and you like look up like a video of like of like an anime or like right. a video uh, like a video game or something, and you look up uh, and like you accidentally type in like a character's name. Sometimes the related searches might be like, so-and-so, death. And it's just like, god damn it. <laughs> Why yeah. would you do that to me? Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. No, I try to say untapped if it's something where I'm like, I really want to like Good. know about Good. this. Like something like Cloverfield, I'm like, don't fucking... I don't think anyone yeah. knows. I don't think, I don't think anyone think, knows anyway. I think it's like Star Wars. I don't think J.J. Abrams knows. I think it's like Star Wars. Like nobody really yeah. knows what this movie's about. No, yeah. No, when it's something where I'm like, I want to like really make sure I don't fucking get this spoiled for me, I'll like pretty much untap. I'm like, nice. I'm not looking That's anything up. Yeah. But if it's something where I'm like, eh, I could look. like if it's like a dumb like action thing, I'm pretty much just like whatever. Gotcha. But um, yeah. So it sounds like that was yeah, that game's cool. So I I want to pick that up. And it has a cool feature of like, it has like a training area we can like practice with your characters and like and like level up and stuff. But it has like secret training as a feature, which is like you pick whatever character you want to train and say, okay, you're gonna do secret training, and then the game saves and quits. And the longer like you don't play the game, the more they're just training in the background. Whoa. So then when you turn it back on, it's like this character gained thirty levels. Whoa! It's like it's like because it was a PSP care. game. It makes sense as a PSP <laughs> yeah. game. Like you you're turning you put you put yeah. it away and then you turn it back on and they're trained. You like turn the game off for like a year. It's just like hey, this dude's fucking ready to go now. Yeah. So that's why I did for like support characters that I'm not gonna play as myself to yeah. train. Just do that, and then, yeah. like, they get some better, and it's like, yeah, that's cool. I definitely do want to pick that up. There's yeah. a lot of games I want to pick up. Yeah. But you know what there's not a lot of? Money. Money! I gotta get a job. So true. We need yeah. jobs. College is money. Pay, pay me! Yeah. Alright. Pay us to review things. I think they'd be, cool. they'd be awesome. I think that should cover it that's for true. this week. That's right. Join us next week, where we continue to talk about anime, and we will also have special guest, uh, Donald J. Trump. He decided to come here. You some reason. Trump. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Um, yeah. Peace out. Bye. Bye.